availability is a very important aspect for any appointment booking. You would set the time that you are free and you would like to take an appointment and what's going to be the duration and other configurations. So to start with, let's click on add products to a point door and add a new product. Here the product has been added. Now we click on manage. By default, the configurations are set to some default values already so that it's helpful for our merchants to recognize that. So now we go ahead and we see what the, uh, what, you know, uh, the fields mean. So duration is essentially, you know, the duration that you want to take. It could be 30, 60, 90. It could be, you know, it could go up to, uh, you know, 24 hours, which is, you know, 1440 four, minutes. Invite is can't schedule with, within is essentially, you know, the time duration within which, you know, they, they are not allowed to schedule from now. So basically, if you set it as 240, it means that for the next four hours, uh, you know, none of my customers will be able to schedule a time with me. Show available start times in increments of is basically the intervals, you know, so it will be the intervals that will be shown in the calendar. So let me just go ahead and change this to 30, this remains, and let's change this to 15. Meeting details is any meeting details that you would like to put in. Uh, this is not shown to the customer, you know, while they are booking. It's only shown in the confirmation email. Note is again the same thing, you know, it's an optional parameter. You want to say, you know, thank you for the purchase or any, you know, personal note that you want to put in for your customers, you can put it here. Time zone is essentially, you know, the time zone that you are in so that, you know, uh, basically this will be the time zone that you will be seeing across all the bookings that you have. Is group appointment is a feature where obviously, you know, you can allow multiple people to book uh, the same time slot. This feature is only available in premium plans. Send email reminder is basically, you know, if you want to send an email reminder to your customers before, you know, before some uh, before the appointment, you know, so if I put in 10 minutes, it will, you know, send them a reminder email before 10 minutes of the scheduled appointment. So that's the basic configuration out here. And here you put in the actual uh, timings that, you know, you want to put. So basically, if I click here and put 9 to 5, it, it, it would mean that, you know, uh, on Sunday, my start would be 9 and end would be 5. And also, you know, you can just remove any availability. So essentially, this means that, you know, Monday to Saturday, I'm not available at all. And uh, basically what would happen, you know, based on your configurations, you know, you will see, uh, you know, the timings on the calendar. So let's just uh, see how it looks like, where basically, you know, uh, I have a 30 minute appointment, you know, it will be shown in increments of 15 minutes. Uh, you know, it's in, you know, basically I'll put in my time zone out here and, you know, a maximum of 30 people can book and there should get a, you know, a re email reminder 10 minutes before the meeting. So if I go ahead, save and close. If I go view in store, one day workshop, and it's for the English one. So here I click here, English. So it's only available on Sundays. None of the other days are available. I click on nine and I see that, you know, nine to nine to five, it's present, you know, since the duration is 30, the last slot will be 4.30 because five is the end time for, uh, for your day. And you see that it's in increments of 15 minutes. So if I book 9.15, what would happen is 9.15 to 9.45 will be booked because my duration is 30 minutes. Hope this video helped you to configure the availability. And you know, that's it for the video. Thanks for your time.